Hello or welcome back to my YouTube channel and to a new video. Today I'm going to be sharing a process for a painting in my sketchbook spread and just talking through a little bit about what I'm doing and also talking about style which is something that as artists I think we're often worried about and something that's really um, changed my mind on how I feel about my own style by doing the daily art challenge. So for this piece that I'm about to show you, I'm creating it in my A5 Talon sketchbook and I'm using gouache. So you can see here I'm just squeezing out the gouache onto my paper palette, which is the way I like to mix my paints. I prefer using paper palettes compared to ceramic or plastic palettes and I really like using them because I can like, continually re-wet the gouache and then I can reuse the paper once it's done because I tear them off and use them as collage pieces in my work. So if you've seen my work before you'll know that I do tend to use gouache in a way that's quite different to a lot of artists that use gouache because it is such a opaque medium and a lot of people when they first use gouache they do use it quite thickly and I definitely was I like this as well and I always was frustrated because I really wanted to get that really clean block of colour and it was really hard, like I found myself not mixing enough paint, um, like not mixing the right quantities and then if I mix say a light pink and then I use that as a background and run out I won't be able to match it completely and you can you could always see when uh, like where my marks were instead of having that really clean gouache look in the style that I wanted, so like Sibylline for example who always gets that perfect crispness. I always struggled with that. So the way I use gouache now is in this sort of more watercolour way, I suppose, because I add a lot of water. And I've just found that this suits my style a lot better. And I tend to put down a wash first and then I'll go in with my details. And that's just how I find works best for me. So the page that I'm doing here are quite a few different views and these are all views that I found from MapCrunch. So I use MapCrunch a lot in my work, especially for my daily art challenge. And MapCrunch is basically a random Google Maps generator. You can set it to go anywhere in the world or you can set it for specific countries. And for this one, it took me to Croatia, which isn't a place that I've ever drawn before, but I was really taken by the place that it took me to. I really liked the landscape and I thought it would be a really nice way to um, expand my usual panel pages in my spread and try something different. So I do draw views like this quite a lot in my sketchbook of like getting one place and then spinning the view around and then drawing the different views that way but I usually put them into panels in my sketchbook whereas for this one I took them out of the panels you can see I haven't got like the lines around my um, sketches or anything and I haven't sketched first I'm just putting the paint on straight away and it was really interesting working in this way you can see that I kind of started in an odd place I usually start sort of top left corner but I've started bottom left and I've moved it onto the second page as well so it's kind of a bit more dynamic rather than keeping it just on the left hand page you can see I've gone over the spine there and it just really made it feel a bit looser than my panel pages. They were always quite controlled because they are in the panels and working this way made it feel really loose and I think it really added to the page and overall I'm really pleased with how this spread turned out and I was really happy that I recorded it so I can show you it here. So this does feel in a different style for me. I think it, I was definitely influenced by Santi Sales who I'll link down below and I'll pop some of his work up on screen now. But you can see he has a really lovely painterly style and I love his like travel illustrations and you can definitely see that I was influenced by him here. And that leads me on to the subject I want to talk about more in today's video which is style. So at the very beginning of this challenge and like all of the years leading up to this I've really struggled with my style. It always feels like something that you need to have an, uh, as an artist and it was always something that I've been striving for and like I've had people say to me I can tell it's yours you know this is all your style and before the daily art challenge I just couldn't see it and it wasn't until like three two or three months ago that I feel like I was really coming to my own and could actually see my style 
So I've been doing the daily art challenge, I think, for like 10 months now. And it wasn't really until eight months through that I could start seeing what other people were seeing. And I think as artists, we're always trying to do better. We're never at the point in our art journey where we want to be. And so I think that links with style because we've got an idea in our head of what we want to be, maybe not in terms of what our style will look like, but in terms of our confidence and how we're approaching the artwork. And I find it really interesting because I feel like I do have a style now, but I can change it. So one of the things I was always striving for was a style that was consistent because that's what I thought I needed on social media to do well. And since doing my daily art challenge, my uh, audience has grown massively. But again, that took about six months to get to that point, And I feel like it is on an upward climb now. But at the beginning, it was quite stagnant. So again, that did take a while. But I always thought that was what was holding me back. And especially more so when I was doing my daily art, because I was just doing loads of random things. I didn't stick to a same like the same topic, I didn't stick to the same mediums, or the same sketchbook, or anything like that. And I always thought that because my feed wasn't very cohesive, it wasn't the same style or techniques, that people weren't interested in what I was doing. And obviously that's not true. I Because my audience has grown now, I, I know that it wasn't actually true. But that was the reasoning I was telling myself as to why I wasn't growing. So I was always striving to get to a point where I have this style. And I don't know if I thought that I would have to draw in that way like all the time, but I got to a point because I was creating every single day for so long that I realised that that just wasn't going to bring me joy. And what I love about art and the artwork that I create and how I've managed to keep up my momentum with the Daily Art Challenge is that I can change things up and I can draw whatever I want in the style that I want and it's still me, it still has my style there, and it's going to be me because I'm the one that's creating it, it's all of it's done by my own hands, and even if I change the way that I'm like applying paint, it's still my work, and I think as artists we sort of have to accept that in ourselves, I think if someone had told me that like a year ago I would have just been like yeah yeah I know that, and like I kind of just was like that when people said, I can tell it's your style, you know, I can still tell it's you, because I didn't see it, and I think that's the most important thing. So I feel like I've really come to a point in my art journey where I'm really happy with the work that I create a lot more than I ever used to be. At the beginning of the Daily Art Challenge, I was really frustrated. There was a lot of art that I was creating that I was really unhappy with, and... I didn't love it, but the whole point of the Daily Art Challenge was to just keep going, to try new things, and even if I didn't like it, it didn't matter because I was moving on so quickly, like the next day I was doing something else anyway. And so I think Daily Art Challenges are really great for that, and I 100% hold my, like, confidence and my journey, and, like, finding my style with my art, I'm 100% accounting that to the daily art challenge because if I carried on how I was, say I was doing like maybe one piece a week, if that, then it would have taken me years and years and years to have made this much art to have found this confidence and style. So by doing it every day, even if it's just a quick thing, like you don't have to do a couple of hours every day. And I know I have like the privilege to be able to do this full time. So I do have more time and energy to put into my creative work but like even if I was doing 10 minutes that was still more than I was doing before now that I'm doing it daily so if I hadn't done this or started this daily art challenge it would take me years to have got to this point so I'm really grateful in the daily art challenge for getting me here and for growing my audience and I just want to sort of use this video as a chance to say if you're struggling with style then just keep creating work because it will come and as a young artist I was always told you know like looking online and stuff and reading as many articles and watching as many videos as I can on how people got their style because that's what I was obsessed with 
is that practice really is the key. And I think coming back to the whole thing about me sort of being influenced by Santi Salas here, is that you can mimic other people's work and see if it works for you. So like trying loads of different styles, trying using gouache in this way or in like Sibylline's way where they're using it very thickly, see what works for you. I found out that this way works best for me because I tried it out. And I do get a lot of comments from people saying, I don't know if I should do this, how should I do this? And my gut instinct to tell them and how I reply is just try it out. Like, I think that's the best thing about art is there's so many different mediums and things and you just have to try things out and that's the way you'll find your style. And it's exciting, like I don't think you should feel held back by um, not being able to use a medium because it's new or being scared to use it because again with my daily art challenge it's pushed me to try lots of new things and different techniques and because of that I found my style. So like I said I do still try different things like even here this feels kind of not me but I can still tell it's mine. And that's really exciting and really liberating for me. I'm really happy in where I am with my artwork and that feels like a really lovely thing to say because it's something that I've always been striving for. And I just think it's really interesting talking about style and like there are so many artists in the world and we'll never create the same as the next person. Even if we're trying to copy it, our style is still there because our hands aren't the same. And if you are like directly copying an artist obviously you need to be careful there um like change the subject and maybe mimic the style um do it in your sketchbooks and obviously don't try and make like prints or profit from other people's work but you can absolutely use it in your sketchbooks to try things out and see if working in their way works for you because i think my style is actually a culmination of so many different artists styles that I've tried over like 15 years and I've like learned I really enjoy doing skies like this or trees like this and like using a painterly sort of marks and then adding the details on top and I've learned that from trying lots of different things and taking tiny bits of this style and this style and merging it in together to make my own style. So it's kind of like when you mimic master painters work when, like in GCSE art, you're told to copy how they're painting. It's a similar sort of way. You're learning from them about what they're doing and whether you like it. And I think that's what style is. I think it really is just a bit of everything that you've liked. And say with buildings, I found out this is how I like to draw windows. So I do it now because I know I love the way that it looks. And so I'll do that in every piece that I'll do from now on until I want to try something different and see if that works better. So I know this is quite a rambly video, but it's just something that I feel really passionate about and I hope that was interesting to hear and I'd really love to hear your thoughts about style down in the comments because I know something that I was obsessed with um, as a young artist and like I see a lot of people struggle with. So I'd love to open up the comments and have some discussions down below. And I also really hope you enjoyed watching this whilst listening to my ramble. I'm really pleased with how this one turned out. It was definitely still something that I could learn from because it is stepping out of my comfort zone in terms of the panel spreads and things. So I think um, as artists we should be continually growing and trying new things and if you are on the fence about doing a daily art challenge then I definitely recommend it. I get a huge amount of messages about it, um, about people being scared and wanting to do it but not knowing how. And I could do a whole other video about it but Um, definitely make it work for you and I recommend it 100%. So do hope you enjoyed this video, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next Sunday with a new one. Have a lovely week and I will see you later.